What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. What's going on? Let's join this queue. Next week, next week, excitingly enough, I guess this week, based on when this video will be going up, this week, Modern Horizons is live on Magic Online. It's going to be super exciting. I can't wait to draft this set because it looks amazing. Um, I should also have a YouTube video coming out about Modern Horizons on MTG Arena. And uh, I saw some people suggesting this and I just want to get my thoughts out there on that because it seems like kind of a big topic, right? Heatstroke, you've said simulacrum like 15 times, and every time it has been spelled incorrectly, so... <laughs> Figured I'd give you a hand there, buddy. Yeah, every so often I like to make a 10 to 15 minute YouTube video. You know, just for the sake of, like, mixing it up, but also because I do have things to say. Um, Mock Sapphire is pretty cool. We'll take that. So let's make sure this is correct. There we go. I want I want an equal amount of space on the top and the bottom. It looks like there's probably a couple pixels more on the bottom than on the top, but I think it's still fine. I mostly just want to remove this bar. So we're going to take Mock Sapphire. Be quite okay with it. I don't even care. <laughs> would you trade a box of Modern Horizons in exchange for content? Uh, I would, yes. I would most certainly do that. I would love a box of Modern Horizons, and I would also open it on stream. And I would say, the game grid, uh, sponsored, you know, whatever, so. Yeah, I currently don't have any plans to get any boxes, 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 but I would love to actually just open a box. Uh, dig through time's good. Metal worker is pretty sweet. We can metal work. We can work some metal. Dig through time. I think it's dig through time and metal worker. Could it be Azorius Signet? I'm going to take the metal worker. If we're going to take an artifact, I'm going to go with metal worker. The more paper cards you have, the more you can use sweet deck boxes. That's actually true. That's a fact. That is a fact. Thanks for the email. Screecher, no problem, buddy. Glad you got it. Glad you made it to the Discord. And if you guys haven't done so, definitely uh, consider subscribing because then you get access to the sweet subscriber Discord channel. And it is... It's a pretty, it's a pretty happening community, guys. It's good times. Good times had by all. Um... The only artifact in this in this pack is Sphinx. The only land is Wooded Foothills. Could Repeal. I think I like Control Magic better than Repeal, though. Celestia Signet, Celestial Colonnade. I mean, we're going to assume that we're going to be blue-based here with the Mox Sapphire and the Control Magic. Talking to my coworker today, and he casually mentions he bought a case. Yeah, that's that's something right there. Oh, look. Turner himself likes the Signet. Signet's pretty alright. I'm a big Colonnade fan. We could probably take the Signet, especially with the Metal Worker. I'm game. Uh, this pack is pretty unexciting. We did White Blue the other day when we were uh, drafting the artifact based deck, so I'm pretty sure it's going to go similarly. And that being the case, I'll just take the Celestinorn because we can probably play it pretty easily. I got a new computer with a better monitor. Your face is so much more defined than I thought it was. That's actually hilarious. That's good, because if I didn't have a very well-defined face, I feel like I'd be less human. Can you sing me a song? Eventually, I think it, during over the natural course of uh, the stream, I could probably do that. I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know if I could just do it on the spot. Ooh, I do like a batter skull and a lodestone golem. Ten cards. Two cards are coming back. I'm going to wager on the Hellrider 
Thank you. And the Hero of Bladehold coming back. Those are my Screecher. Thank you so much for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. That's funny because I gave you the invite to Discord last night, and today you just got it on your own. Really appreciate it, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Um, this is this is tough. I think it's lodestone. There's no stip here. Lightning Greaves? Eh, I'm okay with Lightning Greaves. Could also be Monastery Mentor. I like Mentor a lot, especially in this deck, because... Because we can play things like Mox or Signet Post. Yeah, I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the Mentor. Mentor is a pretty sweet win condition. Gilded Lotus. I will take a Gilded Lotus. We're looking for an upheaval here, guys. Oh, Orzhov Signet? Sure. What up, Honey's Joker? What up, Jelly Filled Donut? Thank you. Shinala, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Is Moat? Moat seems good for, uh, maybe. I and mean, I think it's better than Sacred Foundry and Containment Priest. I'll just take the Moat. Terminus, same kind of strategy. Could take a Johnny Vengeance, but then I'm going to have real remorse over not taking that, that Sacred Foundry. Mm, I'll take Explosion Expansion, I guess. I don't see us playing Revel Arc. Although it does get back Mentor and Metalworker, and it gets around Moat. That's an artifact. Huh. <laughs> So I think this is going to be the pack we predicted Hero and Hellrider. Considering how open red and white have been, I feel okay about it. You take the good, you take the bad. Oh, I was halfway there. Someone left the stirring Wildwood. I'll take 50%. That seems fine. Hmm. Well... Not a single artifact in all the pack. Could take Wildfire. I don't want to be red, though. Uh, I could just take, like, a Marsh Flats or a Scalding Tarn. Could take Kozilek and just cast it off of, like, Metalworker and Gilded Lotus. I think it's probably Kozilek here. Yeah, we're just going to try to cast the Kozilek. Can you get Kozilek back with Revelark? Oh, power two or less. No, no, I guess not. You take the good, you take the bad, you take it all, and then you have upheaval. I really want this Karn because I think it's great in this deck because you can just make artifacts, but... I think this is an upheaval deck if I ever saw one. Two Signets, a Metalworker, and a Gilded Lotus here. So we're going to upheaval. And that's exactly what we wanted. Ideally, the Karn comes back. I don't think Karn is super highly valued in this cube. But. Also, if you guys haven't done so, go to CoolStuffInc.com and any purchases you make, you can use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off your purchase. And you can also check out the article I wrote yesterday on Agro Loam and Modern. So uh, definitely check that out. Goblin Welder's cool. He's a cool dude. I'm thinking more of Balance and or Emrakul. There's so many times where I steal my opponent's turn and then I kill them with their spells. Once I did it with uh, Underrealm Lich, I made them kept peeing four. And once I did it with Toxic Deluge and I just made them pay all their life, it was pretty pretty excellent. I actually think I want the Emrakul here. Everflowing Chalice and Gruul Signet. In this situation, I'd probably go Chalice. But I do like an Elspeth. Yeah, it's definitely Chalice here. I 
my eyes are just darting for the uh, for the artifacts. And when there's none, I get sad. Getting all lives Zendikar is not not bad. I don't think we're turning about. I mean, I guess we could turn about, untap all our artifacts, and be like, oh, untap all my artifacts. I mean, we don't have anything to tinker into right now. We just have two Eldrazi, which are not artifacts, unfortunately, but. Walking Blissa. Uh, probably, we're probably going to go for Thirst for Knowledge here. It's a nice little, nice little card draw. Sword of Light and Shadow, Shrine of Burning Rage. Relic is actually pretty decent. Yeah, I actually like Relic. Relic can be main deckable here with Metalworker and uh, Monastery Mentor. Thirst for Knowledge. There's also lots of uh, ridiculous strategies that want to take advantage of their graveyards. Thank you. Lebo, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. L much love, much love. Anything in here that's good? Spell Queller is alright, I guess. History of a Nile. Oh, Spell Queller is probably fine. I don't love it with uh, with Upheaval. Then we just bounce the Spell Queller and they get their guy back. Maybe it's Iona. Maybe we just hard cast Iona. That's interesting. If we go white, white, white Metal Worker, we can actually just reveal three artifacts and cast Iona on turn four. That seems ambitious considering Metal Works, considering Spell Queller is pretty powerful. Uh, I think I think both of the I, yeah I think the uh, the annoying part is correct, but I also think there is some kind of value in having a bot read love me seventeen times. That's the reason I don't actually use it because I don't see the point. Like it's really weird because whenever I watch Gabby streams and and she has the bot read the subscriber messages or the donation messages, like they're always talking over it anyway. Like her or Louise, whoever's on there, they just talk over the message. So I don't really see the point of of having it. Also, it's Kind of weird. It just kind of feels like a big distraction. I, I yeah, I agree. I, I would also be afraid of them donating. Like, hey, I'll donate a dollar, and have this thing curse on 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 stream or whatever. You know, could just be Baneslayer Angel. She's not an artifact, but she is. Uh, She's a powerful wizard, and if we wanted a, uh, a a red, a white, green land, we 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 could just take this one, which I think we're probably gonna do, because now we have Stirring Well with Temple Garden and Celestia Signet. So if we get any green cards that we absolutely want to play, does Mike play an MTGO? And he does a screen name start with Mike, but uh, he does not have an MTGO account because he doesn't play on Magic Online ever. Yeah, Wall of Omens is fine. It's a late Goblin Welder that we're just passing, but... We're not a Welder deck in the sense that we want to get anything back here. Like, there's nothing in our... There's nothing in our deck that we really want to, like, pull back out of the graveyard. Like, I could sack a Signet to get back, like, Gilded Lotus or Lodestone Golem, but that's not super exciting. No, I think I've heard this before where someone plays against a Mike B and they're like, Is that Mike? And I'm like, no. Is that a last pick Mind's Desire? Wow, that's insane. I guess storm is 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 open, boys. Look, here's the time spiral. We could we could just totally be storming right now. Instead, we're gonna take this corset portal because that's a solid card. And then we're gonna hope for a tundra or a hollowed fountain or both because we passed that celestial colonnade, and that makes me sad. Yeah, I do like Angel of Serenity, a good deal. I also like Grim Monolith a good deal, and I do hope we get I do hope we get five mana Tezzeret because that seems pretty sweet. I'll take the Grim Monolith. I don't think that's even close, really. So Revelar can get back Metalworker, Monastery Mentor, and Wall of Omens. Currently, it can get back a Spell Queller, but that just seems fine. I mean, taking Crucible does literal nothing in our deck. It's literally a blank card right now. We have no fetch lands. We have no wasteland strip mines. 
So we take Crucible and we're just like, this is a cool three mana artifact that has no text. Cool. Uh, there's a Tinker, and we can hold out hope that we get something bigger. Which I think is pretty okay, considering the number of cheap artifacts we have. Talarian Academy? Sure. Deal. Come on, Blightsteel. Come on, Inkwell Leviathan. I'll take either of those. Well, nothing yet. <laughs> well, nothing yet. Uh, Hanger Backwalker, I guess? Not thrilled about it. Mm, Boros Signet. Winter Orb. Whoo, boy. Linvala? Academy Ruins? I don't think Academy Ruins does anything relevant for us here. I also don't care about Winter Orb. This is not a Winter Orb. Well, maybe this is a Winter Orb deck. Is this an Orb deck? That's the question. I mean, we have three signets, a Grim Monolith, and a an ensnare and an Everflowing Chalice. And if Talarian Academy is the one land we untap every turn, it's a pretty significant advantage. I like Angel of Sanctions more than like Revel Arc in this deck. I'm actually consistently impressed with Angel of Sanctions. It's not super easy to kill. And uh, it gets rid of any permanent, and it flies, and it's a 3 4, and you can get it back. Uh, there are tons of upsides to Angel of Sanctions. A lot of times when I evaluate cards, it's based on my previous experience with them, and I'm like, yeah, this card has been great every time I cast it. I was reluctant because it's just a 3 4 flyer for like 5 mana. But it's always pretty good. We did not find anything to tinker into, which is pretty unfortunate, but I think our deck is still pretty good, especially with this upheaval. And Monastery Mentor is a nice nice win con. So is Gideon, Baneslayer. We could bring Mode in. <laughs> Honor of the Pure. Um, none of these cards are great. I'll just take Scrounger, I guess. Maybe we can splash it off of the Orzhov signal in case we want to activate it. Hmm. Let's take Wheel of Fortune, I guess. A lot of bread cards in that pack. Thank you. Scooney Love, thank you so much for the for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Wow, this is a lot of Look at that. We got like Temple Garden, Stirring Wildwood, a Razor Verge Thicket. We do have green fixing. Shardless could be good, but then we hit Everflowing Chalice. I think we're just I think we're just winter orbing here. I don't think we're porting, not with these color requirements. It's unfortunate. If these were white blue lands, like I can't even imagine how. I mean, we didn't take the Shardless Agent, right? So. Hangerback is probably better than Wall of Omens. We don't need Tinker, actually. Let's go out moat. Hmm. 
Spear of Heliod's actually not bad with Hangerback and Monastery Mentor. I do like Face Fetters as an answer. Yeah, we can bring in Face Fetters and just play it like this. This actually seems pretty good. Make sure everything is useful. Yeah, this deck actually seems pretty nice. 10-5. We can probably go 9-6. Which is actually 6-7-8. It's actually 9-8. But we also have three white signets. So actually I'm thinking 8-9. Eight, eight, and then three white signets. So it's actually like 11-9. Yeah, that seems good. I called the Tinker. I just forgot to call anything that made it matter. That's true, yeah. Gonna keep this hand. We can mentor into Relic of Progenitus. Do you have any counter spells for the bribery? We do not. I think we're actually just gonna run this guy out on turn three and then play Mox into Relic and make two guys. Yeah, that's pretty good. Unless we actually have to do it next turn. Yeah, that seems fine. All right, well they have six mana, so let's see what they do. Let's see what broken shenanigans they're up to with five cards and six mana. That is not it. Unless next turn you play land and then infinite time walk, unless we're actually just dealing with infinite time walks on turn two. Not a bad turn. All right, double island. It's where they go time walk with buyback, and then we just never get another. That's cool, but I'm gonna steal it. <laughs> Enjoy those cards, my friend. <laughs> Say that you good to see you back in the minute queue for some more prime MTG kind of level assault article. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate you playing this model. Um Probably when the set is released. Yeah, I can definitely see myself playing around with some loam. That feels pretty bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana, so next turn we can go upheaval. Yep, that's pretty brutal.
How do I feel about the card shenanigans? Not great. I think there's much better options. I don't think you ever really want to be dredging your 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 destroy one artifact spell. Seems good. What if you're playing dredge? If you're playing dredge, you're only dredging at one. So like. I mean, dredge one is not what dredge is looking for, really. Like, you want to dredge, like, five or six, which is, like, Grave Troll is busted. I see. It's an interesting choice, because now I'm just going to block this. But if you put it on here... Interesting. Then you just get in for six, seven, eight, draw a card. Yeah, that's insane. If they have counterspell for this, what can you do? We can't play Gideon next turn, unfortunately, but... I mean, now they get to play land and have to discard, like, 7,000 cards. Which is not terrible. <laughs> that seems great for us. Thank you! Oh, wow. Okay, so they have Ancient Tomb, Power Stone, Soul Fire, Blast Zone. John, Travol John Travolta, that's a great name. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. Man, if this is a um, Mox Pearl instead, we could play Mox Pearl into Tolarian Academy and then play this Gideon, but alas. Yep, sword. Thank you. Thank can I, you. Can I? Is there? Do I have a chance to exile after they discard, or does it just immediately go to our turn? Snoozle Moo, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Preach, as the kids say. Alright, so Power Stone is gone. So we now have Ancient Tomb, Soul Fire, Blast Zone, Sword. Now we know four of the five cards. Immediately goes to your turn. Dang it, Chris. Well, I'm a judge. My name is uh, Christopher, and my name is a judge, and I know the magic rules, and I like uh, playing my magical spells. Uh, Chris is actually one of my best friends, and that's legitimately how he sounds. That's it. That was actually a recording of his voice that I've memorized. Sp <laughs> Spencer, damn, that sounded just like him. Yeah, Spencer Anomic eighty four actually knows Chris, so he can vouch. He can vouch. Chris, Sp uh, Anomic eighty four is Spencer. Uh, you guys definitely met at um, when we cube drafted at our house. Spencer was the one that played the guitar. Um, this is interesting. We can just go Talarian Academy Mox and then play Winter Orb. And then, like, next turn we get to untap things and play Gideon. Hmm. 
Yeah. Might as well get one out of the graveyard now. Okay, so Blast Zone and Worn Power Stone also gone. So Ancient Tomb, Soul Fire, and Sword are in your hand that we know about. I know who Spencer is, you big... Wow, that was... Okay, see, that was rude. That was rude. Now, now you're banned. Okay, you're unbanned, because I love you. Yep, that is fine. Is it, is it possible to play all these things? Probably not, right? One, two, three, four, five. We could just play Lodestone Golem, though, and I think that probably locks them out of the game, right? We could tap these... And then next turn, we can untap this, play a land. I think we just play Lodestone Golem here. Actually, we don't even need to tap the white, do we? Oh, wow. That's insane. Let's Lodestone here. Wow, we were about to concede this game. I was just so depressed by that, that Consecrated Sphinx blowout. But then, like, we just play the game because magic's good. Now they play Ancient Tomb. They can play Sword. Nope, they played Plateau. So we know they still have Tomb and Sword. Oh, Flame Slash, okay. Well, that's fine. Up People is definitely a busted magic card. No joke. Um... The sad thing is we still have to tap three actual lands for this Gideon. So I guess we'll tap these. Nope, not, not using that. I'm going to play a Planes because if we draw like a, a double Planes card, I want to be able to untap Academy and play the double Planes card, so. Is Upfeeble in your cube? Oh, uh, I don't actually think so. How often do I get to play cube? Not too often, but I play it as much as I can. I'm just going to untap this because it's a broken land. This is a lot of... Wish these guys had vigilance. Come on, get it together. Uh, Turner, I'm willing to get... I'm, gonna, I'm willing to cube whenever we can get enough people to cube. I am totally down to do that. I feel like we're actually in decent shape here. Next turn they can go uh, untap a land, ancient tomb, play sword, equip sword, but does that do anything? One out of every four tokens in Modern Horizons will be foil? Oh, that's gas. Hold on, let me shut this off for one second so I can make sure my notes don't. Okay, they did not. Well, that's pretty good. Man, they just have the 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 answer for everything. With this guy, they have Flame Slash. For Gideon, they have Elspeth that lets this guy jump. We don't have enough to kill the Elspeth. Maybe we're being foolish by keeping the relic around, actually. 
Yep, that's pretty good. I'm going to sack this just in case. Yep, that's not going to do it. All right, so that's pretty sad. Even if we plus Gideon at some point, like it wouldn't have done anything, so. <laughs> this is utterly unreal. Like, come on, dude. Seriously? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten lands out of sixteen. That's ridiculous. Oh, the ancient tomb is gone. I mean, we get to untap this and this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana next turn. That's pretty good. How do you control your sound bites? Uh, no, I have a I have a stream deck, an Elgato stream deck, so I can just play them at any time. <laughs> I was thinking Kozlak would be insane. Not only do we get out of this uh, this land glut, but we get a ten ten. So now they can play sword, but then they get to untap one land. So mm. I just choose softly. <laughs> oh man, they can play sword and then equip it with this. But they also have to double block if they want to save their Elspeth. Or they could just do something else that's equally dirty. Blade Splicer is pretty decent. Man, the amount of lifelink this Soulfire Grandmaster has gained them is pretty ridiculous. I didn't even know there was a table flip emote, emoji, uh, macro thing. Yep, you got it. Guess we're taking eight here. I mean, I can also see, uh, like, there's tons of good draws. Angel of Sanctions... I mean, I wonder if this is a 16 land deck, to be quite honest. It wasn't a land. I guess that's true. I guess. Oh, we can 100% hardcast Emrakul. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We can hardcast any card in Magic the Gathering. Always look on the bright side of life. Ba -do 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 do 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 here comes Metal Worker off the top, yeah. I'm waiting for it. Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. I don't... I don't understand. 
Like, they just make this a 5-5, put the sword on it, and we're dead. So we actually... <sighs> Guys, the next card is Leshnorn, just to be clear. Which would have killed all three of these. Oh boy. Have you tried not drawing lands? I feel like my entire magic career is based on trying to not draw lands. Life is but a dream, sweetheart. <laughs> John Evans' entire career has been trying to draw lands. I wouldn't say trying. I think he's. Uh, I think he. I think he's done it. I think he's mastered it. Ain't, ain't nobody going up to John Avon being like, "Hey, man, one day you'll get there. One day you'll draw these lands." Wow, it's it's just it's more frustrating because we worked so hard in the last game. We're like, you know what? Let's crawl through the wreckage here of this consecrated sphinx control magic bullshit. And then we work hard just to draw like seven lands in a row. And it's like, okay, well. Have you seen the spoilers? Merit Lage, More Ninjas, Hideaway, Black Helix. I have seen all of those things. Um, some of them look cool. Some of them look less cool. But some of them, they're all like fine. I, I, so when I look at sets like this, everyone bitches and moans about like, oh, this is more of a commander set. None of these cards are modern, playable. Blah, 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 blah. And when I look at sets, I like to look at the whole picture of a set. Like, oh, here's 15 commander cards. Here's 25 modern cards. Here's 40 cards that are specifically limited. Here's, you know, six legacy cards. Like, I like to look at the, take, take the whole set and look at the scope of the set. And I think it hits a lot of points and it's really pretty cool. Like, this set looks like it's going to be amazing for drafting. Like, everything has an ability. Everything has, I, I think I counted them and there are 20, 37 unique abilities in the set. Unique mechanics like splice, cycling, ninjutsu. There's a lot. Legacy is still a format? Yeah, what do you use? Legacy is an extremely popular format. I don't understand that question. Was that like a like a meme? Like <laughs> legacy still a format? <laughs> Cause no one finds those funny, right? Um There's a Lesh Norn next turn. I'm just gonna wait here. I was being a mean meme kid. Yeah, but no one likes that guy. No one likes that guy. Come on. Kretsch Jr., what's going on, buddy? How's it going? I hope they play something like a Blade Splicer and we just get to go... Whoop! What's happening right now? Put a charge counter on it. They'll get there. I think they'll get to seven soon. Ooh, 
Really? You don't think it has anything for you? What do you think? What what exactly do you think is for you specifically? Like, what would you define as for you? Sure. I mean, that's a two for one. I'm fine with it. I like you, Captain Command. That makes one of us. Oh, man, that's so sad. Oh, God. Captain Command, no. I think this set's going to have a lot of, like, so I don't know what you're looking for in terms of, like, modern metagame impact, but I think it's definitely going to have a ton of cards that, that make their way into modern. Like, this is going to have a lot of modern cards. Like, I can probably just scroll down and, and find cards that are going to fit into modern. Um, hold on, let me look. Uh, just go down the list. I don't want to do it right now. This takes a lot of work. Like, Unsettled Mariners on the first page, and I can see that guy definitely making it in modern. Like, that guy seems great. I'm going to main face thirst. I want to hit lands and things. Um... Life is but a dream. Um, so here's the thing. I play modern pretty regularly, and like whenever I play modern, like I don't face that many combo decks. And there's already tons of disruption for combo decks as is. Like whether you're you discard making them discard or countering their spells or like removing their combo pieces at instant speed, like I think modern is a combo format, but I don't think that means combo decks dominate the format by any means. And I think that's the relevant part. Life is but a dream, sweetheart. Ba -doom, ba -doom, bo -ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. Like, I could see a cycling deck being a real thing. I could see a ninja deck, like an aggressive tempo ninja deck being a thing. Like, tectonic reformation is two mana. Each land you're, you, in, your hand, in your hand uh, has cycling red. Like, that's pretty gas. They're going to put two counters on this to try to go to the Spain Slayer. Yep. We're getting there. Unearth is pretty sick. Like Unearth is definitely gonna make make find a home. Dead of Winter. Hopefully, there's like a snow strategy, of some sort. Ruination Rider seems great in the in the uh, in the land deck. Crashing Footfalls seems great. Like that's a card that that I'm just gonna suspend on turn one and then control the game. Do we, do we just have the same deck? Do we switch decks? They have Monastery Mentor and Gideon. <laughs> Life is but a dream, sweetheart. That was pretty good. Wasn't sure if that was going to work. Um, one, two. Or resolve signet. We could steal Monastery Mentor, but then we probably should have held the Orzov signet, but. I think I'd rather just save this for like a consecrated Sphinx or something. Especially because this is on four, so they could just kill it. I don't know if that's great, but... 
Do you think Death Rite Shaman can come back to modern? No, no, I do not. I never, I never, I don't think Death Rite Shaman's ever safe for modern. It's just too, it's just too good of an, a card. Like it's banned in Legacy, is it? Like, is it not? It's just, it's an unreal. Yeah, we're gonna, we are gonna untap Monolith. We're just not there yet. It's an unreal powerful card. Like, there's there's a reason why it's 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 a hundred percent banned in Legacy. Yes, um, card was insane because it lets you. It's literally a one mana Bird of Paradise uh, that also deals damage and gains you life, and it has two toughness and one power. Like, it's just it's it's out of control on every metric. Like, it's a one two for one, which is already above average. It has three abilities. It adds any color of mana not just green or you know black or whatever like it's it's broken on like not i gonna say broken but it's overpowered on every single metric for that card for what that card should be yeah there's a reason why it's 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 consensus that it is a it is a one mana planeswalker yep i had a feeling you were going to do this Yep, that's fine, I guess. I like that your blast zone's on five now. I'm glad you didn't wait to take my Kozilek. That's pretty good. Wish this was a treachery now. One, two, three, four, six, seven, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, one of the problems with Deathrite Shaman is that it does ramp you on turn one. And you don't need to... And it's like, it's a ramp card for black decks. Oh, I'm playing mono black. I can still play a one mana Bird of Paradise that does two other things and has a it has plus one, plus one. Like, it's unreal. Mm-hmm. That seems fine. But angle, angle, right angle, angle, ding. Life is but a dream. I have all these Fallout songs stuck in my head. And by that I mean songs that are on the Fallout soundtrack. Well, let's attack. Let's <laughs> see what happens. Oh, make an idle conversation. That's great. That's totally fine. I like questions like that because they're like, they're good. They're good. Con they're good for conversation. But angle, angle, wrangle, angle, angle. And they just take twelve here. Seems good. So what can we do? You have two lands. We can play a lodestone. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can play this. Five, six. We can play this for four. Then we'll have five mana. We can go Signet Lodestone. We can also play this for three. And then we have four, five, six mana. And then we can go Lodestone. Winter Orb. Yeah, that could work too. Or we can just play Control Magic, Steal Your Glenelinger Archmage. We could have we actually we should have done that first I think because then they can't they can't sacrifice it and we would have two activations but then when they when we do persist it get they get it back so that's actually worse. <laughs> I kind of just like stealing this basically stealing a counter spell at that point. This is a little problematic. But like how much longer do they even have when we have Kozilek? So, I think we're actually going to do that. 
If we go one, two, three, four, we get two, three, three mana left. I'd rather just take this. I think this is better. And we'll just play a Lodestone Golem. Oh, we just win the game. All right. Once you steal their Glenelanger Archmage, and they, they know that the next spell they try to deal with cause They have to have two spells to deal with cause like if we take that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Hey, it's pretty... I think Terminus is probably pretty decent in this matchup, now that we've seen Monastery Mentor and Gideon. Or Moat. Moat could be decent, too. But we know they have Wear Tear in the main deck, so... Angel of Serenity might also not be bad. My biggest problem with Modern is basically it's a drag race deck. Versity is good, but really there aren't any decks in the format that play a long game. 20 different strategies that all try to win the game in the first few turns, and you can't counter them all. I agree with that. But I also think, here's the problem. So you have to, you have to consider this as well. Modern is not the format for you if you're looking for something that isn't that. Because once you add so many... Modern has about 60 sets that are legal. There are 54 sets that aren't on Magic on Magic Arena. And then you have the two Kaladesh sets. You have the two Amonkhet sets. You have three War of the Spark sets. You have two Ixalan sets. So five, six, seven, eight. Two Kaladesh, three War of the Spark, two Amonkhet. Magic 2019, Dominaria, Ixalan. So it's 11. So 54... It's like 63 sets. Modern is like 63 sets deep. And like once you get that many cards in one card pool, it becomes increasingly hard to play a long game and deal with every single strategy that could present itself in a format that that's, that's that large. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's just a matter of like... I think that's just something you have to accept. Um, I think Legacy is pretty similar in that respect. Like, you get to play longer games, but even the longer games in Legacy still have three lands in play. Like, you still have like, oh, cool, you wastelanded most of my lands. Like, I don't think even decks, even like decks like lands don't have, they don't go that long. Because people are usually concede by that point. And I think the blue-white control deck in Modern is is a decent decent representation of that kind of strategy. Is that Angel of Serenity? Angel seems seems pretty good. Either way, I mean, like either way, like I, I just I don't know if it's it's gonna take a lot of work that um, for modern to ever change and be less like that. I think. I think our deck is actually sweet. Do you think that some older modern strategies, Tezzerator, will come back into modern? Um, I think... I don't know, but I think that... It, I don't think it's impossible, especially because there are... Um, Karn the Creator, and even the new Tezzeret, the six-mana Tezzeret, seems really good. I like that. I like Orzhov's Signet, too, though. So, one interesting thing that I've just noticed that like that that's kind of a pet peeve of mine is that someone says like, so Gloomy Mort just said I can't justify that spending that kind of money on cardboard, and that's interesting to me. Like whenever someone qualifies what they're spending their money on based on the the um, the material that what they're what they're spending their money is made of, it's always very weird to me. Oh, they're gonna kill this. And it's not like, you know, they could just be like, oh, I just, I, you know, I just said it that way. You know, it's, it's no big deal. But, like, it, it, the fact that you say it that way, it proves that it is some kind of a bias. There is a kind of bias that's inherent to, to your thought process that says, like, I'm only going to spend this much money on things that are worth, that are that are made out of materials that are more monetarily, you know, I, I wish this was in, like, the main. Then we can, like, yeah, that's fine. 
Because, like, I mean, money itself is made out of, you know, paper comp, paper cotton com, you know, composite. So it's like, it's just a weird, it's a weird way to look at things, I think. Man, I kind of want this spell caller, but we can't spell caller and signet, so I'm just going to pass. Secret Club of Wizards are my company I don't trust. What what don't you trust about Wizards of the Coast though? Also historically, I mean like, you know, I wouldn't if that's the case, I wouldn't put money in the dollar either. You know what I mean? Like I'll just be like, oh the US dollar is run by, you know. Anyway, we're getting this is getting uh this is getting deeper than we I expected it to. Man, if we had one more land, we could kill the Lotus here. <laughs> How much is Wheel of Fortune? No way. Wow, disenchant that, huh? That's interesting. Oh, that sucks. Seems good. Swords to plowshares. I have all of the answers that ever existed in the mod in the vintage cube, you see. Come on, Mox, I guess. Yeah, taking the golem does add mana, but then if they play something busted, then we're just feeling real stump st stumped we're feeling real stumped after that uh, I guess we'll try it life is but a dream sweetheart we only have four minutes oh wow we've been wasting time for sure so we can actually play this, make one, two. Oh yeah, we gotta win for sure. One, two, three, four, five. Gilded Lotus. No attacks. Oh yeah, let's play a little faster. <laughs> Bad news bears here. I imagine they have a handful of blue cards, so. Yeah, this is an engaging conversation, so I was I was definitely distracted. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. It's pretty good. If they get rid of this, we lose 4 of it, so go down to 7, which still lets us cast Lush Norn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so. What's Seething Sun? Is that a legendary creature? Whose sun is the Seething Sun? Oh, song. I'm sure no one knew that. Yep, voting for this. All right, back down to seven mana. And I like that they've used Swords of Plowshares and Council's Judgment so far, so that's nice. I 
But angle dango, what a rango dango dang. Life is but a dream. Seething sun, that's what father likes. That's what father likes. Let me see your seething sun. Just got one, two, three, four, five. Play Angel, get rid of your worn power stone. And now we have a bunch of stuff on board, so that's pretty cool. Oh, they got a blue card. I don't know if that's gonna do anything. Yeah, I don't think Storm needs to be any more consistent. I think Storm is is decent enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fractured Identity of Leshnorn, huh? Yeah, that's pretty good. Wishing I kept the Angel now. One, two, three, four. Could have actually played Lodestone Golem into. I kind of want to thirst here, though. I want to find something big. Yep, that's pretty insane. These draws have all been very fucking good. Well, that's kind of funny, I guess. One, two, three, four. Do we have time to upheaval and still win the game when there are five? Probably. Oh yeah, if we upheaval next turn, it's actually nuts. A naughty mouth stream? Yeah, Rob curses a lot. That's kind of funny. Life is but a dream, sweetheart. Are you going to take it? Do you have Counterspell? Ooh, they took it. Oh my god, they're going to play Glenlander Archmage here. And they're going to have a blue up because they just drew the blue the exact turn we're going to appeal. Yep, this is going to be brutal. I don't want to work. I just want to bang my head on the desk all day. doesn't seem like oh you're just gonna bane fire me for four nope it's exactly what i thought it was <laughs> vote for carnage hmm well that's interesting let's do that shut up and take my money and we're gonna assume we have enough
Kretz Jr. Let's try not to even... I'm going to read this in a second. I don't really have time to read it right now. Do we have any way to have them pay life? Uh, destroy all creatures of power four or greater. Gets rid of the Aleshnord in our Emrakul, but it gets our three, four back. This dies. Um, we're going to play this. I'm trying to go to blocks here. All right, so we need to have Spell Quiller in hand. I don't actually know if that was the best play. We could have actually activated Needle Spires, perhaps, but then we don't get to play Elspeth and have them counter it. We don't have any active plays, so I'm just going to F6 here. They get to play one Flyer, but we get to Upheaval now. I mean, they get to play Spell Quiller out and block it, so... Yeah, this is fine. Okay, so we know they have one card and it's Spell Queller. Seems good. Well, this is just lethal, so... Oh, they can't pay for the Lodestone Golem. That's gas. God. <laughs> One minute on the clock. This game was insane. We could also upheaval for uh, how much will we have? One, two, three. So this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Play ten. Float four. Uh, replay Lodestone Golem. Play a land. Use two of it to play Chalice and then into the Lodestone Golem. Yeah, that would have been insane. Wow, that's a, that was that was a great match. What I am going to do is take out one Plains and put in the Spell Queller main, I think. I feel for our opponent. I can't pay the tax. Maybe the Crutch Jr. Let's try not to let the opponent have any lands. As many ways as possible to take the opponent's mana away. Wow. Crutch Jr., you might have a, you might have a real problem, buddy. This is a real aggressive, uh, these are aggressive, uh, stipulations, my friend. Oh, we have to click the play button. All right. Whew. That match was something else, man. My 10th trophy of the season, in truth. I only started playing Q34 Vintage Seasons ago by watching you and Luis on YouTube. Appreciate you guys. Yay! Nice to hear it, buddy. You're welcome. <laughs> Q was fantastic. No, that was the game. We were we were two one. The NBA Finals between the Toronto Raptors and the Golden State Warriors kicks off today. Can you run a simulation, dinosaurs versus warrior duel decks to predict the winner? Uh <laughs> I think I can probably do that, yeah, for sure.
Okay, let's do it. Played three land destruction decks yesterday. Oh my god. Yeah, that's that's something right there. Oh, I don't like this hand, but I'm going to keep it because we have a lot of artifact mana. This is also a turn two signet, so that's good enough. Played three land destruction decks yesterday. Good lord, man. Good lord. I got a two-parter. One, when is this key win? The key win's about next Wednesday, I believe. So about six days. Trying to click this. Oh, we're down. Yep, kilobytes down to zero. Cool. And kilobytes back up. Okay, that was fun. Well, I guess uh, didn't crash completely. Oh, they uh, land. God, we're so good at this game. It's unbelievable. If they didn't have anything then, I'm probably just going to run out Lodestone Golem here. Like, if they didn't have a turn 2 drop, they're not going to have a turn 3 drop now. That's just 5 damage, buddy. Mama's little baby loves shortening, shortening. Mama's little baby loves shortening bread. Gonna play Gilded Lotus here. I think we're gonna play Gideon because next time we can go Gilded Lotus Mentor if we hit another land. Hey, stay fresh, cheese bag. Seville Pippin, have a good afternoon, buddy. Oh, Green Sun for two. Aggressive. Rut Row. Oh, that guy's gotta go. We don't have a land for it, though, so. Well, that's terrifying. We made a mistake by not playing Guild of Lotus, I guess. Let me know if you'd accept, though, as it may be difficult. For every pick, you have to decide which card you would normally take, and then you must take the card touching that card. Left or right? Uh, oh, that seems awesome, actually. No, that seems awesome. <laughs> so, for every pick, you would actually choose, like, if, it, if Consecrated Sphinx is in the pack... I have to choose something to the left or the right or the bottom of it. So I get to, I get like, what if it's like an upper, like, what if it's like in the one of the corners? Can I go, can I wrap around? If it's the upper left card, can I choose the, like, the card that would, if it wrapped around, like, the, the upper rightmost card? Because I think it's good to have three, three choices for every card. I mean, this is 12 damage, so they go to 3 here. And then we do have Angel of Sanctions. If we play Gilded Lotus, we can Angel of Sanctions, whatever they put into play, presuming it's not super busted. None of my... Oh, we just won the game. Okay, I didn't have to play anything. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty good. I guess they're like, whoa, 3 life, huh? Well, see you later. Green deck, huh? I mean, we saw Rafellos, and that's pretty much it. I could see Terminus being useful here. Same thing with Moat. Shut up and take my money. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Nice. Hold on, let me. Uh. Oh man, this is this looks good. This is great. I'm a fan. Very pick, you have to decide which card you would normally take, and then you must take a card touching that card. Left of, right of, above, below, or wrapped around. And then... Power Trumps all, you can... Uh, that seems awesome. I feel like it's going to be tough, too. I feel... But, I mean, like... It's it's also... I think you have to be honest with yourself and be like, okay, I would definitely take this. I could be like, oh, maybe I'd take this. And, like, if I really want Consecrated Sphinx, I could be like, oh, I'll take the Ash. I would really take Ashiok, which is touching it. Oh, so I'll take Consecrated Sphinx. Like, I think I think being making sure you're... Uh, 
you being genuine there is good too. It's, it's terminus remote, but we didn't we don't know what we're up against here. I think. I kind of like terminus here. I feel like there's no situation where I just don't want the terminus. Oh, we can adjust the guards. Yeah, I think once you lock them in in the very beginning, that's what you have to stick with, right? Otherwise, I'll be like, oh, look how look they're big now. Take out relic, I guess. Chad is going to call you out for every pick, no matter how honest you try to be, and I'm very excited for that. <laughs> oh, dear God. Well, this hand is no bueno. Oh, boy. You know what? Sure. Put on, put on top. That's a uh, Rolling Stones. No, Red Hot Chili Peppers. I say Rolling Stones. That's weird. What a weird thing to say. You better not touch any spaghetti while drafting that step. That's a good strategy. Somebody touch my spaghetti. Remember that meme? That was a solid meme. All right, so they're going to go forest, seven mana, something. Kodama's reach, that's, not, that's unexciting. They just, they just put my... They just put my Grim Monolith back on top? <laughs> Scum City. Scum City, USA. Oh, and then they got an Acidic Slime? Wow, that's a twofer if I ever saw one. And I'm not going to not play Grim Monolith because of it. And before no guys, I would definitely take Vampire Hex. I would not do that. That's, that sounds, that's rough. Oh, good. Let's concede the game. Oh wait, if they don't acidic, oh they're gonna probably acidic slime here, right? It was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we get to upheaval and then replay this and this and this. Love Vintage Cube. Thanks for coming. Thank you so much, Mana War Elves. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate your. Your loyalty. Oh, Primeval Titan and Acidic Slime. Well, upheaval doesn't get to get cast now. Oh, they killed the Academy? Hmm. Fascinating. Hmm. I mean, we still get to upheaval here. We just don't get to cast anything afterwards. One, two... We don't get to play a land afterwards. Three. I mean, if we play Gideon, Gideon just dies, right? Guess you gotta risk it for the biscuit, guys. Maybe they just go face. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like, we'd actually be able to... To play upheaval for seven. If we got to play a land afterwards, we could replay like land grim monolith, which is a pretty good follow up. But. That's the way the teddy bears have their picnic. Well, if you're attacking Gideon, I might as well keep my knight. I hope you have nothing in hand. Well, both of these games were pretty much blowouts. Game one was a blowout. Game two was a blowout. That's actually fine. I hope you make, like, three oozes. Oh, man. That's actually not bad. This is actually pretty good.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're not that close. I'm actually going to play Signet here because if we draw a double white card, I want to be able to play it. So, Infinite Forests, Titan, Ooze, Slime, Brafellos, Tomb, uh, Cradle, I think those are the ones we saw. So long, all your forests. Cradle's gone. So you have Titan Ooze, Slime, Rafellos, Tomb in hand, as far as I can tell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Nine, ten, eleven. We're actually real close to casting this Emerald, to be, to be quite honest. Not anymore. Sure, Tomb is gone, Slime is gone. So now you have Titan, Ooze, Rafellos. Probably other cards too, but what is the red for? Well, nothing. Oh, they hit a land? Interesting, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Still close. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, an Alesh Norn off the top would be fantastic. Uh, no, we just like Signet because it's a Signet. Sometimes a Signet being a Signet is good enough. And now Titan is gone. Carnage Tyrant. Titan lives. No blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So any draw next turn is probably pretty good. If we hit a land, we can Emrakul. Planeswalker, Sorcery, land, and then Graveyard. Yep. Hmm. So we have Titan, Biogenic Ooze, and like two other cards. Tentacles and already triggered yourself yet again. Well, it's the vintage cube, so the frequency of having tentacles in the deck is pretty high, I think. What's going on here? Actually wanna land here. Metal worker. Seven, eight, nine. Oh god, that's the worst. I thought you said any drop was good. Well, not this one. Not this one. Not like this. I mean, we're just dead on board, right? Like 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and we block 2. Oh, it's so bad. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 
So close, dude. What do you think of the new Godzilla? Uh, I haven't seen it. It looks it looks like the best of as of the new Godzilla offerings. Let's see if this does anything. Yep, they just kill it. Yep, cool. Sometimes upheaval just isn't enough. Terminus seems like it's going to be enough, though. Terminus seems good. Oh, we already boarded Terminus in. God, we were ready for that. Angel of Serenity also seems nuts here. Just, like, exile their three idiots. Man, we have a bunch of good cards in our deck. Where are they at, though? I'm going to take out the Winter Orb. I don't feel like us Winter Orbing them is really where we want to be. I'm a little scared of Moat because if they, they could just get Acidic Slime, kill the Moat, and then and kill us out of nowhere, which is really scary. I randomly heard the new Godzilla. Alan, what's going on, buddy? Uh, it's Kaiju WWE, and that makes me giddy. That's a great description. I haven't seen it, and I don't know, but it seems good. Um... Felix Last Life, thanks for saying so, buddy. I actually don't always do it. I, I Sometimes I do get discouraged, and I'm just like, fine, I'm done. I'm just going to concede. I'm definitely prone to, to doing that. But I definitely try, especially in cube, because you have so many more outs. Like, if this is a standard match, and they had five creatures on board, and I had one creature, and, and uh, the games are more combat-based, and there's no card in my deck I could draw that would actually save me. We also mulled the five last game, didn't we? Then I definitely, I, I usually don't. I usually don't play to those outs because there's no outs, right? But in like in Vintage Cube, there's tons and tons of outs. I'm not sure if a four and a six year old would be old enough to to see Godzilla, but I also don't. I'm also not a parent, so I don't know. And all kids are different too, so. It's all, it also has Millie Bobby Brown in it, who is wonderful. So, Also known as Eleven from Stranger Things. I got a, I got a funny comment from, uh, from Nathan, Nathan Holt, a, uh, a YouTube viewer, who says, Didn't get Jitte in the sword stipulation? Didn't get Jitte? How does it feel to steal the money of your innocent fans? Happy birthday, Mike, by the way. <laughs> Good times. That's the way the teddy bears have the pig. You guys know the teddy bears have the picnic song? It's a good one. It's a solid jam, guys. I just made a YouTube video with live Twitch. I thought Mike B went for coffee and did not come back. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Oh my god, because you said Michael B. went to another state for coffee. Oh my god. You thought... Oh my god, you, you were watching the YouTube video with Mike B. when he left, and then you watched the live stream, and he just got them confused. <laughs> god, where's it's taking him so long? Uh, I'm going to bottom this. I don't think it does anything for us right now. Oh, Unease Joker, he was totally joking. He was totally joking. Yeah, Nathan Holt's a good dude. Every time I sneeze in a video, he he, he responds to the YouTube video and says, bless you. And it's, it's pretty hilarious. <laughs> oh, it's good times. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very much like Father Like Son, where Mike went out to get coffee and he just never came back, just like his dad. Just like old Papa Papa B. Here, oh, it's not a Rafellos. 
What is it? Oh, it is a Rafellos. Well. Terminus. Boros Signet? Why are they always late? So next turn he untaps, he goes Forest, it's one, two, three, four, it's six mana, they just get to play either Carnage Tyrant or Primeval Titan. Like, I don't even feel like keeping up the spell caller at this point now. Yeah, I feel like we're Oh, it's actually a different Nathan Holt. It's not Nathan Holt from uh it's not the it's not the well known Nathan Holt from like Enter the Battlegrounds and the the other I forgot the other stuff he did. Enter the battlefield or whatever. I can't imagine Nate Nate Nathan Holt Nate Holt from uh, from of of Wizards does not strike me as a guy that just hangs around watching YouTube videos. You never get that impression. Like you can kind of tell people like some people just seem, they seem too serious to just like watch YouTube videos. You know what I mean? Like like in their spare time they're not sitting home watching content. It's just it's weird. I really get I get a feeling from some people like that. I'm just like mm, you probably don't sit around watching hour long YouTube videos. I don't know. It's weird. It's a weird feeling. And one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. It's not tooth and nail. It's just crater hoof. Seven plus font. Oh, I guess. Did they just try to tooth and nail and realize they didn't have nine? That's cool. If so. Or they just wanted to play something post combat. Oh, no, you guys are definitely serious, but it's like the, there's some people that are like too serious. Like, my my life is packed with things to do. I just do things nonstop. Oh, finale of devastation. Seems good. I'll get a primal type. Oh, acidic slime. Sure. I almost had a chance to win this game. But then they have double tutor, so that's cool. Of course. One, two, three, four, five. Eight mana next turn. We would have been able to go float to player land for, for an extra one. Actually, I was a bit surprised you said he comments. Yeah, like, like it's yeah, because you can just tell. You can kind of just tell people who are like, yeah, the last thing this guy does is watch magic videos. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and they just get to play their land. Whatever. We'll just play an academy. We'll see what happens. We're certainly not upheavaling here. Although, if we draw a grim monolith, it's pretty okay, right? Like it's. One, two for Monolith. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So then we can go land Boros Signet. Meanwhile, we'll just take nine here. The dream is dying. Yeah, we're definitely, the dream is definitely dying here. Sure. Sherpa. Does Everflowing Chalice do anything for us? I really don't think it does. So pay two for the Chalice. We get one, two, three, four, five, six. We upheaval. <laughs> we have nothing floating. I mean, it might just be upheaval in the Tolarian Academy or something, like. Oh, actually, this is, yeah, we can cast it for zero. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's where you want to be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was actually not bad, all things considered. And then we can play a land. And then just play Signet, I guess? That's 
Seems good. Don't have to discard. All right. Now we can spell Quilla Rafellos. Carnage. Slime. One, two, play this. Yeah, we're just going to play this and pass. That seems pretty, pretty good. Oh, Thirst for Knowledge is nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll have eight mana next turn, and I don't have a problem discarding two lands for a thirst. Sure, you got a Vivian, Vivian Champion of the Longbow. You got it. Uh, we'll discard two cards. We can go land, land, play a land. Attack Vivian, champion of the longbow. That's not even what her name is. Isn't it though, guys? Oh, Mox Pearl and an Ancient Tomb in the same turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here comes Carney T. You just plussed her. So you did not play Acidic Slime. Are there any Flash things? Like, what am I worried about here? Instant speed. Yeah, that's pretty good. I always forget that. I literally forget that every single time. So they have, we know they have a Cidic Slime and Carnage Tyrant in hand. Everyone's going to say that she has Flash. I literally forget it every time. It's unbelievable. Yeah, Carnage Tyrant in response. You got it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. That's unfortunate. We basically just died of this guy. I think we're going to six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. They only have seven mana, so they can't crater hoof. I mean, we had a game. I don't know if it's, I don't know if we still have a game here. No, no worries. You guys are great. No worries. You got it. I wasn't going to attack with that guy anyway. Joke's on you. Any spell, I think, probably wins us the game here if they don't have something else. Because they block here, they take one, two, three, four, five, six. If we hit a spell, that's a spell. I mean, if they have a two drop, we're dead too, so.
same with acidic slime. I mean, acidic slime is insanely good against this. If they have like a creature they can catch. All right, cool. Wow, that was insane. I thought they were like, I was like, like, did he have a dude? Are you gonna really play a dude? I literally played that guy in my last league, and he complained to me too. Wow, like it's so weird to be like, I'm gonna type something to my opponent, and then like make them feel bad. Like then they put like a smile at the end, so they're like, hey man, I'm smiling, but I'm I'm complaining, but I'm smiling. Hey man, you played a really good game. I'm really glad you drew those cards you needed when you needed them. And I'm just like Emma Watts a cringe face. I'm like. I don't know what to say. Thanks. It was good to draw them, I guess. I, I don't know. Yeah, why did he tap his ancient tomb? He has two mana up. That's hilarious. You played this with one, two, three, four, five. You could have just went one, two, three, four, five. You'd be at eight. That's so weird. Like, that's so weird that, like, you complain about my draws, but then, like, you literally could have, you, I would have been dead if you actually didn't just tap your ancient tomb there, if you tapped your two forests instead. That's hilarious to me. What do you even do about that? What do you even do about that? Like, instead of, like, and that's that's it right there, dude. That's the thing you want to avoid. Please, if you guys are watching on YouTube, on Twitch, if there's one thing you can avoid, be more uh, aware of your matches and what causes your losses. If the first thing you do is blame luck or blame your opponent or, or, or you know, blame top decks, rather than literally looking at the, the the mistakes you made in that actual turn, then you really need to change your, your process because it's terrible. Like, instead of, like, looking and being like, hey, I lost this game. What could I have done differently over the course of this game to have won? Uh, instead of doing that, you immediately be like, wow, way, way to draw appeal. Well, no, but a lot of people didn't win me the game. So, Badger, what's going on, dude? I, if I don't blame external factors, I only have myself to blame, and that does not feel good. When I ever lose the game, I blame the government and my parents. Thanks a lot, Dad. I think we play Signet here. I don't think I want to play Hangerback Walker for two. I don't care about all that. I don't care about all that shit. Him tapping the tomb was just fair because you attacked Vivian once and are missing out on that day. That's true. That's true. I really was doing that. Oh, fuck. <gasps> God damn it. I got real excited because maybe it would be a Blightsteel. Maybe it's an Eldrazi. No, it's not going to be an Eldrazi. Hmm. Well, we can actually take a hit here. Frankie's the F game. It's fair game now. <laughs> I learned it from you, Dad. Nope. Gotta tap this one first because signets are a real abomination. And no counters, no counters, no counters, no counters, no counters. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Never, never don't have it. Badger with the 10 gifted subs, man. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Oh, yeah. Did good. Would have drawn that. So we play this guy. Let's say we play this guy instead. Dave, what, what I got? Okay, we take another seven. We play this guy. 
We draw the island, right? We block. We draw Thank you. a planes. We block with the token. We block with the other token. We draw another planes and yeah, we're okay. We're just drawing hot. Thank we're just drawing hot shit here. Oh, Bert1372? We know that's Robert. We know that's Rob's secret name. We're on to you. This feels like a moat deck. You just play a big fat idiot. And then we just gotta... We just, we just keep away. God, I, I hate Sundering Titan so much, dude. Thank you. That card is such a scumbag. Thank you. Thank you. Stop swearing, my kid is watching. Uh, Yoda, I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> I apologize. Four RPG Badger Bucks. What does that even mean? I mean, I'll take them. I'll take your money. I'll take your money. What I'm gonna need. I donate RPG Badger Bucks to round off the donation amount. I thought you weren't supposed to do that. I thought that was the better strategy. Why does Blinking Sunny Titan feel like absolutely unfair and totally busted? Because it is. Are you okay? First the F word, then the S word. I might need to unsubscribe for the language. Uh, I curse every now and then. I don't make it a. I don't make it a central part of my theme or my my stream, not my theme. But um. Oh, this is a turn three. This actually seems very good. Hearing you rant about Sundering Titan while Keegan, Keegan Michael Keegan keeps saying thank you over and over in the background because the RPG Badger was hilarious for some reason. I I don't think it's for some reason. I think it's for a very specific reason because that is a funny scenario. How long do we have to follow before we're friends? We can hang out and have a pool party. We can call it the annual Twitch and chill. Uh, we were actually calling it MikeCon. And uh, we were thinking about doing that. I don't know if that's a real thing or how many people would show up, but seems like it could be cool. You guys want to do a real life mic con? Can you just swear more? My kid is watching. <laughs> oh lord! You're gonna are you gonna miscalculate that dude? Oh, don't miscalculate my little metal worky. Ooh, one, two, three. Oh, that's messed up. Wow. That's messed up. You done messed up, A.A. Ron. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. The player on miscalculate here. One, two, three, four, five. Then we can go Signet. And then we can untap Grim Monolith. Oh, baby. I'm sorry about my birth shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, you, we knew. You, you couldn't fool us. Bert1372, please. We know better. You're not kidding anybody. Oh, Chris, what'd you say? I'll fly out for my con. Can I do a panel? Yeah, you can do a panel, my dude. All right, well, we're going to add. Yeah, we'll have to come up with some some sweet panels. Yours can be judging Magic the Gathering because you're you've been a judge for so long. Got him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're getting real close, guys. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm just gonna pass here. What did T Jesse say? What's going on here? This had this chat's got really hard to keep up keep up with. Oh, they didn't do anything? Okay, well. I guess we'll play this idiot. Five, six, seven, eight, yep. Yeah. Five, 
Oh no. Buddy, I'm drawing four cards, my dude. You ever seen four cards drawn before? It's unbelievable. Man, this draft has taken long, but these these matches have taken long. That first round went to time. Oh look, they drew three cards too. What a time to be alive. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Let's actually just play Monastery Mentor here. But Monastery Mentor. All right, so then we can actually untap this so we can keep up Spell Queller at the same time. Everyone can donate to pay for everyone else's flights. Yeah, I'll donate a, uh, I'll donate a nickel. Oh no, you disallowed my gentleman. Welp, you know what they say. You can have, you can have a remand, cause I don't want you to have a deck. Aiden. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I can't do both. That's sad. If we play a Leshnorn here, we can just hit this for four. That still lets them negative one to get the deck. Play the deck, steal a Grim Monolith or something. Hey, the stipulation for the next draft is that you have to pay for people's flights, and I'm like, oh dang it! I guess I didn't. I guess I committed to that. We know they have a remand and two other cards. I feel like I just want the, the face fetters this guy. If they play Dak and Steel, don't we just kill them? I don't think so. if they have anything they're passing pretty quickly you can do whatever you like four five six seven eight nine remand it for me you got it remando calrissian Attack that big banana. If you were a monolith, you would be basalty. I don't have to be a monolith to be basalty. My man. My man. Yes. What do you do now? Oh, well, interesting. Attack that big banana. Big banana dead on board, right? Rob, when are we hanging out, my dude? You never got back to me with your schedule. This is what you do. You're like, I'm going to check my schedule. And then I don't hear from you until I check, until I, until I respond to you. And I'm like, hey, man, did you check your schedule? What's going on? What's the, what's the hold up here, dude? What's the hold up, buddy? Why didn't you get a prowess trigger? Uh, no, it's only it's it's non-creature spells. Prowess is whenever you cast a non-creature spell. If you could prowess on any single spell, I was building a wall when you messaged me. That's 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 a thing, I guess. That's a totally normal thing that people do. That's a uh... should we board into like a pseudo uh, minds of desire deck with turnabout and minds of desire? It can be like. Mock Sapphire, Everflowing Chalice, Relic of Progenitus. This hand's pretty bad with a 10 and a 7 drop. 
This hand's worse with a 7 and a 13 drop. And this is why we lose the draft. Yep, seems bad. Hey, he mulled the four in the last game. Seems good. It's okay. In Modern Horizons, they're going to have an ability called Mega Prowess, and that just lets that just lets you do it. It's all spells. Go ahead. Just counter it. You know you want to. You didn't want to? All right. I would have not mulled the first hand. That's interesting. And we had one land and one mox, and that was pretty much it. So now they have disallow and they have miscalculation, so. I guess if they only have miscalc, this is fine. If they have disallow, it sucks. If they have cryptic command, it sucks. Remand is fine. Negate. Fantastic. I had a sad, and that's a thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Do I just slam a Leshnorn and hope they don't have a way to counter it and or deal with it? I mean, I don't think so, right? Why did the stadium get so hot after the game? Because all the fans left. Dear God. Oh, biscuits. All right, so they're not doing anything either, which is kind of cool. Okay. Seems fine, my dude. My friend David lost his idea over the weekend. Now he's just dab. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, I totally should have waited. Just hard cast Leshnorn, I guess. Are we not? Are we not losing this game? A Leshnorn against the mono, the blue red deck seems pretty good. I mean, even if they control magic, we have Angel of Sanctions. Thank you. Funkified, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Or the regular sub. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's yeah, fine. Whatever. Hydroid Crassus. So I guess they do have green in their deck somewhere. Upgrade for the other one. Sure. Yep. 
Well, that's much worse, isn't it? Now I'm just not messing around anymore. Sure. Congratulations. God, they always have it. It's unbelievable. And I guess if we hit another land, we can just bring it back. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, Saru, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have no idea what this is. Return to hand. Sure, dude. like that <laughs> guess we're dead it's okay, they only drew five counter spells and two artifact removal spells that game. Other than that, like, we're... It was a totally fair match other than, other than the five counter spells and two artifact removals. Yep, cool. <clears throat> Thank you guys for watching, really appreciate it. Slam those likes and subscribe buttons. Check out manatraders.com for a pretty sweet deal on any kind, of, in a, any kind of subscription service you're looking for, whether it's paper cards or magic online cards. Those are... Uh, Definitely worth checking out if you're looking for that kind of thing and get 20% off the first three months with the promo code and the link in the description below. You can also check out meundies.com slash franklapore where you get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. Check those out and I'll see you guys next time. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching, guys.